Alrighty, man. Eight. <laughs> Cerno coming out hot off the handles with that side special. No cross up on the power dunk here, and 8 Man responds with a great down smash as punishment in kind here. But unfortunately, let go of shield here. Good stuff on 8 Man. Sets the gyro. Able to come back with a word there. Oh, good rising tackle. Catches the high recovery there from 8 Man. Good stuff here for him to try to punish that. Definitely letting Rob stay on the air is something you don't want to let him do, but you can see he's trying to set up the opportunity where he can get that corner carry with the gyro into the rotor. Nice. Good stuff on Cerno. Didn't go for any kind of getup, so that wouldn't have gotten caught. Nice. Up air rising tackle. Nice. Sets up gyro there. Trying to hold Cerno in place for the shield. Ooh, close. Good roll. And that's going to be the stock here. Ape Man fights back here. Two stocks apiece. 79%. Ape Man's name of the game here is to try to make sure he is spaced away from Terry as much as possible. Because the second Terry gets in, it is Damage City. Nice. Good laser. I do like that. You see Ape Man go for that. <sighs> Tough spot. Tough spot. And this stuff too for Rob because he's within that weight class that he just gets comboed by Terry super hard. Forward air. Nice. Double. Good, good opportunity on the down to try to see if he was going to go for that landing. Once again, sets up Gyro. Good stall on the landing here. That's kind of what Ape Man needs to do is stall his recovery on the stage from the ledge. If not, he might get... <laughs> now he might get a side bead, and that's going to be really tough to be in a spot in with all of its active frames. Good back air. Set the laser. Nice. This forces a low recovery, but he doesn't get that forward. It's so crucial. Oh, he went close for the read. And enough to get for that spot dodge. Up smash was just in the starting frames. A bit, man, here at the last lock. 112, game one. Nice. Great back air. Apeman Man has a lot of fight in him, even though the chips are down. It's like Stride said, even though everything is going wrong for him, he'll still try here, but unfortunately that burning knuckle will take game one for Cerno. Right here, game two, Cerno to game one pretty well. Of course, Kaos is going to give Ape Man a bigger stage to survive a lot of Terry's options, but also kind of room and space to breathe, especially against Terry, where you kind of want to not play the close quarters combat battle. And for Rob, he wants to make sure he is feet away from Terry, especially with all his projectiles. Oh, good upgrade to Rising Tackle. I was going to say Ape Man is in a scary spot there. Another Rising Tackle. Could put him in a tough spot though. In the middle of laser, good call out for Ape Man, but unfortunately, Cerno is already close quarters. Nice, good roll. Gets away as soon as he sees that down tilt. Nice. You see Ape Man do that up tilt simply because he knows that Cerno might have actually gone for a directional air dodge towards center stage. He would have caught that pretty well. Oh, tough spot to be in. And it honestly looked like Ape Man let go of shield at the wrong time, or that might have been a shield poke, and I doubt that's a shield poke. No punish on shield? Good. Just rolls away. That shield is really small. That could be a shield, but good back air. 
Sets up the gyro, tries to call out the high with the laser. Up air up. Yep. Okay. Ape and men looking for a stall here in the air. Trying to come back slowly. Oh, I like Cerno it. Already, Cerno already won the first game. Yeah. Power dunk. Oh. Couldn't get out, but Rob is still surviving because it's Kalos. Big stage here, plays in kind for a good man. Oh, man, it's so rough for Rob. He's so big. Like, once one of those tilts hits, he's going to eat the full brunt of the punch. Oh, my God. Free 56 just like that. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cerno, Cerno's letting all the, the supers fly right now. No reason not to. Oh, close. Wow. Nice. Good punish. Good punish. There was no yeah, cross up. The guy did not care at all. He's like, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna power dunk. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Nice. Stalls is recovered from the ledge. Good up smash. I like it. Ape Man kind of playing a little more reserved here. He's not going in up tilt. Oh no. Good up smash punish. Nice. I like this. Ape Man kind of playing a little bit more safe. Oh, no reset. No reset. I like yeah. that. Couldn't get the down tilt. Just hold shield. What, did he catch the mash? No. Good setup though on that gyro. <gasps> he got Cerno, it. He got it. Cerno does the Terry classic, which is random power dunk into spot dodge. Whatever. <laughs> because cause power dunk has like no landing lag or really What's, at all. Yeah. It's super so what Ape Man has to do is just pretty much just let him do the power dunk in neutral and then just wait for him to like mash something out of spot dodge. Yeah. He might be able to get an up smash if he plays his cards right. But before that, he probably wants to just throw him off stage at this point. Yeah. So pretty much at kill percent. Oh, oh no. Yeah, it's too. Robin's like so big that he's like guaranteed to get hit by that. Yeah, it was a tough spot, but like you said, right? Like, and you could even see it in Ape Man. He slowly understood that counterplay. He knows, like, okay, hold on, let me just let him do that and then react afterward. That's what kind of slowly let him make the comeback. And it's kind of tough too on Terry because, like, you see Ape Man possibly drop shields. Because he's not really sure which jab combo that might be happening next. Because for Rob, like you said, most of them are pretty true because he's so big. Yep. Yeah, you can SDI to some extent. But with Rob being so big, there's not that much he can do to like SDI out. It's just very, very difficult for him. Exactly, exactly. So that puts 8-bit men at a pretty big disadvantage. Last game here, man. Possibly for Apen, man. I kind of want to see him come back. He was slowly bringing it back last game. Start to slowly cut on to Cerno's game plan. It's got one more game to do here. Apen, man. Possibly looking at the cards here. Shuffling what stage is the best pick. Town and Sid. I'm sorry. Smash. Uh, Kalos. Looking to be working well for Apen, man. Just because of the bigger blast zones and more space to leave Terry. We'll see, it's gonna be the Diddy coming into play. Strides, what do you feel about this pick? Mm, I don't, I haven't played this matchup really, so I can't, I can't say for sure. But honestly, if he's picking Diddy right now, it's because he's tired of Rob's huge frame, letting him get hit by literally everything Terry wants. But uh, he's still gonna, he's gonna die a little bit earlier here with this character. He still doesn't have the best range either, so I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Hopefully, hopefully he has a game plan with the Didier. He might also just want to, uh, wow, a B, okay, there's a lot of percent. But um, he, he might want to get like a, like a down throw down air as well at the ledge with Diddy. I know that's really good versus Terry. It's like, uh, it's not difficult for uh, Diddy to get like a double down there and kill really early too. Nice, gets so that far, trick. So far so good though. Yeah, looking to play a little bit better. Nice, banana into forward smash. Quick play, catching out that power dunk. Okay, just barely enough to kill. I'm honestly surprised that killed because of uh, Diddy's forward smash not being that strong. 
All right, Ape Man, slight trouble here. Good oh. stuff on Cerno trying to catch a high recovery. Nice, Ape Man sneaks in with the back of here. Power Dunk only sends him the other side, though. Good wall hang, nice. Yeah, something that Diddy can definitely uh, make use of on this stage, or any stage with the wall, really. You can see the Ape Man is not afraid of use Monkey Flip to come back on the stage. Kind of gives him a little bit of an extra depth here, but we'll see if Cerno can catch that with Power Dunk. <laughs> Three Power Dunks in the neutral, man. I can definitely tell you Cerno is yeah. looking at that stock. Yeah, this... Cerno uses Power Dunk in neutral more than any Terry I've seen. And it's good, too, simply because, like, if Ape Man does want to use that Monkey Flip, it could be very costly. A lot of Diddy means live and die by that. For sure. I don't like Ape Man continuously going for a up throw forward air because of the way that Cerno is DIing and the percent that he's trying to do it, it just won't connect. He can be getting uh, back airs or yeah. up air. Preferably back air, though, to send him off stage. Ooh, good forward air, good forward air. Oh, you gotta be careful here. He can't do anything too risky. Pretty nice, sure at this nice. Point, I'm pretty sure at this point, Cerno's gonna be looking for like a, a raw super. Nice. The banana actually punished the. The crazy power dunk that uh, Cerno has been trying to go for every time. Like, look at, you can see how he's using it. There's oh like, no! I don't know what Ape Man just did. I don't know what. He fast followed the forward air. He fast followed the forward air. That was a misinput. Tough call here. This puts Cerno in oh. such a big lead here. 155 to 53. Two stocks on Cerno. Yeah. And he's just sitting on the, the go right now. He just knows he so much. So much going for him. Oh, he dropped his No, gun. no. He's not dead, but he's so close to dying. Yeah, good cross right, up right. with the hard monkey flip here. Yeah, Ape Man needs a huge edge guard, in my opinion, for him to win this right now. Oh, no banana, because he already threw it out in play. He got punished mm, for hitting him, and he died. No. <laughs> he, his back air wasn't safe on, on hit at, at that percent. <laughs> I think what he should have done, maybe he was buffering, I couldn't tell, but at that percent, he should have tried to do double back air.